15 victims of last week's Midwest tornadoes died while they were at work in large warehouses. Tonight, a vigil was held here in Cincinnati in their honor. While those who gathered remember their lives, they're also calling for change in workplace conditions. Brad Underwood has more from Clifton. Lannis Joe Ward, Jeff Creason, Janine Johnson Williams. The names of those killed at the Mayfield Consumer Products Building echo the Clifton Plaza Sunday night. Ivan Lopez, Robert Daniel, Devin Burton, Kayla Smith, Jill Monroe. Since the tornado leveled the factory, workers are opening up about that night. Some left in fear of safety as the storm grew near. Others have reported leaving work that night would have jeopardized their jobs. Unfortunately, it's a situation that we see all too often in this system, that workers are put at risk. The vigil, organized by the Cincinnati Socialists, serves two purposes. To honor the workers that died in Mayfield and at the Amazon warehouse in Edwardsville, Illinois, but also a call to action for workers around the country. What workers ultimately need to do is to unionize and to organize uh, because we know that um, bosses by themselves will never voluntarily uh, simply give workers the protection that they need. Austin J. McEwen, DeAndre S. Morrow, Clayton Lynn Cope. Kelly Livingston says safety is a necessity that needs to be equal for everyone. It is very important that, that we are all safe when we go to school every day, that my students are safe. The same should be true of everyone. Um, whether they work in a school, a hospital, a candle factory, an Amazon warehouse, that we should all be safe. Etheria S. Hebb, Larry E. Verdon, and Kevin D. Dickey. In Clifton, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. By the way, lawsuits have already been filed by workers and families of victims in both Mayfield and Edwardsville.